It was a father and son story like no other. Two presidents, each presiding over some of the most significant events of our time. And through it all, drawing on a bond unique in our modern history. NBC's Kristen Welker on the President's Bush. They shared a name and membership to the most exclusive club in American politics, George H.W. Bush and his eldest son, George W. First and foremost, he was a great father. A passion for politics and public service passed down from one generation to the next. He could reach for the stars, accomplish stuff, mm -hmm. and sure enough, they have. <laughs> Their bond punctuated by a lifetime of parallels. Both Yale graduates who served in uniform before entering public service. George W. following in his father's footsteps. And I want to thank my dad, the most decent man I have ever known. Family always came first, fiercely protective of each other. When you would turn on the television to hear critics talk about him. Yeah. Uh, it made me angry. It actually, it helped thicken my hide for when I became president because criticism of my dad was a heck of a lot more uh, difficult for me to handle than criticism of me. Same thing. I did not like it. Through it all, their unbreakable bond enduring. The kind of question people ask all the time is, who's the most influential president? Or what, you know, and like, well, there's no contest. George H.W. Bush. Would you say the same thing about him? Unconditionally. In their last conversation, the younger George told his father by phone he'd been a wonderful dad and he loved him. George Sr.'s final words, I love you too. Kristen Welker, NBC News, Washington. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.